Welcome to Resolution Radio 2020. This is my regular feature, Down Your Street. And our first caller today on Down Your Street is Christopher. Go ahead, Christopher. Uh, hello, Mike. I noticed you're doing Down Your Street again, and I think that's a good thing. Down my street, because I live in a small village, and, and it's nice. It's kind of rural, and, and there's trees every few hundred yards down my street. And for me, it's a good thing, because nature is a good thing. We need to live alongside nature, not not uh, not knock it down all the time. And also, it makes people feel good that there are trees. And, uh, you know, I heard one, one caller ring in and say that trees are the, are, the, are the lungs of the world. We all need to breathe and it's, you know, like a breath of fresh air when you see trees and birds like to use them and, and build nests in them and that, and squirrels and, and stuff. So it's not all about shops, is it? And, and, you know, takeaways and charity shops and all that. Sometimes there's a bit more going on. And I just thought it's something that sometimes people forget well, Christopher, your street sounds like a really nice place to live and it's good for the environment. It really is. And, and I think, again, sometimes people say they're getting way, these trees, and they're a nuisance. Well, sometimes you say, I get it way and I'm a nuisance, but I'm still here and, and going strong. And uh, I, I hope to do for many years to come. Well, hi, uh, I agree with you, Christopher. I hope you stay strong too. And your commitment to the environment is... Uh, every bit as strong in the years to come as it is now. Thank you very much for your call. What's going on down your street? And there we are now. I'm back for my, my coffee break. Uh, I do believe that uh, us Americans were very generous in uh, spreading coffee around the world. Now that next to our next caller. Uh, it's interesting that you're talking about spreading coffee around the world. Uh, I imagine you're uh, referring to such institutions as your famous Starbucks coffee, tea and spice houses uh, established around 1971. But in the mid-1700s, you may be interested to know that there was something of an intellectual revolution in Scotland in the coffee houses uh, in our beloved country. Uh, it might be wise for you to do a little bit of historical research before making your wild claims. Well, <clears throat> I wasn't exactly making a wild claim. I was just happy to enjoy my coffee. Anyway, it's good of you to call in. It uh, shows the feature that you're doing is uh, called Down Your Street anyway. Uh, there is a coffee house, uh, of course, and that's where I go and get my tea. Better than that coffee that you seem to be trying to push onto us, back onto us all in Scotland, like it's something new. So what was the uh, purpose of your call about something down your street? Ah, well, it's, it's interesting, you should say. Well, John Loudon McAdam, around the same period as the coffee story I've just told you, he invented Ta McAdam. Uh, which, if it wasn't for that, there would be no streets in the modern form that we recognise them whatsoever. So down my street uh, has been repaired the pothole disaster of the last few years with the cutting down of the uh, local authority budgets, uh, which is a bit of a disrespect to Mr McAdam, uh, need to be readdressed and uh, make the street smooth and gorgeous for us all to move around on, uh, which would be a great improvement, in my opinion, down everybody's street. Well, well, thank you for that contribution. I think you're absolutely perfectly correct. Much safer for everybody who's on a bicycle, too. Many a rim of my bicycle in my, when I, in my younger days was ruined by potholes and uh, uneven road surfaces. That's a terrific point. Thank you for your call, William. If you like this channel, like and subscribe our page. Share it with your friends. Uh, if you understand the underlying message here, which is about entertainment and fun, keep smiling, then continue to stay with us. I look forward to interacting with you in the future.